Hello everyone and welcome to a Kerbal Space Program video today. Back to the fun space program. I just wanted to take a little bit of time, learn the game, learn how to play right, and you know, so I can make it more of an enjoyment for you guys. So let's just slap on a little mech jab here so I don't have to do the calculations. It's like I don't have to do the maneuvers because I'm terrible at doing the maneuvers. So let's just say for the video sake, it's a lot better if I'm not doing the maneuvers. All right, and this is the B9 Aerospace mod, and that's the Mech Jab mod. That's pretty much, that's pretty much one of the kind of the only mods I'm running right now. So, uh, you see, we got the supersonic airliner. Uh, what do we need to do? Uh, it's nighttime or it's daytime, so you don't need to turn that on. What's, what's the position lights? That looks cool. Brakes! Set the brakes. Window shields. Let's put the window shields on. Yeah, this isn't generic. This isn't it. So. Let's fire them up. Alright. Let's, let's try to get this thing up and up out of here. I think I may be going to Jewel. We'll have to see where I feel like going. The brakes off. Alright, good. We're just rumbling down with Bill Kerman. Rumbling down the field. Something I probably sh shouldn't do, but I'm gonna trigger the SAS on the way up. So I don't screw this up majorly. Oh, let's go and see the interior view. Ah, I could do some work on this. Not to be picky though, but uh, could do some work. Wonder what this button does. All right, I shouldn't. I shouldn't hit that button. I hope I could go into orbit on these. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I can, actually. I actually do not know if this is a jet, if this has a jet ca or super uh, space flight capabilities, which is going to be interesting to figure out. Um, must say, it'll be kind of weird to figure out. So, you know, it's just an adventure. That's uh, that's what it's all about. That's what Kerbal Space Program is about. You know, exploring. Probably should hit taking another plane out. Uh, but uh, is there an air brake on here? So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, if there was. Yeah, you know, let's just let uh, let's just let the people uh, see their impending doom. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll be able to go into orbit with this because it's. It's air breathing in. All right, let's go back to the other uh, EAB. And let's load up another one of the B9 aerospace mods. Onto one I know I can go into. I know I can go into orbit on this one and do a space flight. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Launch. Yeah, we're gonna do a space flight with these little thing, with this little thing. Oh my god! I didn't put a mech jab on it. God! In flight, space plane hangar. Let's go back to the space plane hangar. I need to put the mech jab on it. Contr propulsion or er, control mech jab. Now we launch. Yeah, and so I guess the guy who developed this got hired by Squad, which pretty cool. Uh, oh Jesus! Why is my air already decreasing? If I saw this thing rumbling down the runway at an airport, I would be actually very scared. Raise the gear. 
Yeah, so we're going on a space flight here today. This is the um, this is the cockpit. Let's see if we go with that. You actually move this around. SAS is on. Lights off. Lights on. Kind of like that. Uh, gear up. Oh. Wow, so I can control this. Gear down. Here we go. Gear up. There we go. Now let's check our fuel. Alright, so we are burning fuel, but, uh... Hopefully this thing can get us to uh, another planet. That would be kind of cool. Um... Try to go min miss just to make sure that I can get this thing to another plant. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll try that. We'll try to go min miss. thrust from uh, using it with the with these because if I do that'd be cool be a cool design yay actually looks kind of nice I am I guess I'm fixing something Seriously, almost have fuel. circular rise that'd be nice but uh I doubt it because alright that is a really crappy holy crap alright Hey, orbital operations. Can we circularize? I just flamed out, didn't I? Yep. I, per I just did. Yep. That's the way it works. I think I'm burning fuel with my RCS. Yeah, I'm out of gas. I'm out. I'm out of gas. Is there a parachute on this thing? Uh... 
All right, bail. 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 You're screwed. Might want to bail. All right, let go. Bail. Turn on your RCS though. That could help. Dude, turn on RCS. Good. Hey, let's watch them crash to their deaths. That'd be great. Let's see them crash to their deaths. And if you want to take a rocket up, that's just it's just me. These space planes aren't really working for me. Um, yeah, no way that somebody can survive that. Holy crap. Well, maybe if I start a slowdown here, I don't think I have nearly enough gas to start a slowdown. There's Bill. Bill is so screwed. That'd be actually really cool is if I could slow him down enough that I could stop. Yeah, it's not cool. I can make it a more survivable fall. Fall from orbits. But uh, I kinda doubt it. 800, 700. Nope, 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 nope. Splash. All right, that didn't work. Um, uh, space center. Let's go on a flight somewhere. Space planes are not my idea. They're not my fun. They're not fun. Um, that looks. That is a nice, nice spacecraft right there. It may not look aerodynamic whatsoever because it isn't, but um, we're just going to strap this on here. And utility. We're going sh to strap a battery pack onto it. There's a battery. There's a battery. Battery. Solar red. There, that looks good. That's a really ghetto solar red. All right, uh, watch. I want to try to uh, touch down Eve. I'm gonna make this the Eve Explorer. Looks really ghetto. Uh... Looks stable enough. But if I didn't have those uh, those RCS filters, I'm screwed. But we have them, so. I've never actually been to Eve before. I'll show you where I've been. I have been... I've been a lot to Minmus. I have a space station around Minmus. And I have... Uh, I have a Kermit, uh, Kerbal in orbit around the sun. I've, I've never been to Eve. I have one, uh, one in uh, orbit around the sun. I have Jebediah Kerman. He's hanging out in Duna. And then I have one that crashed into Elo. Duh. We don't like to speak of that that much around here. That's a terrible mission. Absolutely terrible. still have some fuel in those engines I like to get rid of them because for the circularizing I like to use mechjeb 
do that because I usually put us in a really uneven orbit. Like I usually go like through there. At, and the space music just came on. But I usually like have a really bad orbit, so I, I uh So that's why I use my chip. So once we get to the Sapolapsis, I'm gonna slow down the time warp just a little bit. But once we get to the Sapolapsis, I'm going to speed it up. Or I'm gonna slow it down to zero to the regular times one warp. And we're going to We're gonna circularize. Alright, that looks about good. Circularize. Let's go. It needs to have enough gas. This is pretty much my like spacecraft that I would like to use. Just for simple exploration. Our space station suckle over there. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I may have had to do some stuff with the game to get it up there. Just to uh little you know that to get it up. But uh, once I got it up I feel pretty proud of myself. Okay, yeah, there. But, um, yeah. Second rising on orbit. Okay, just about there. Alright. We're going to do a transfer point to Minmus. It's usually a better place to transfer to transfer over to. Usually a better place. So we're just gonna fly by the space station over there. And, uh, just get it done. I'm thinking I may not do this while recording it. I think I'm gonna put my space station in a really low orbit around Minmus. So it'll look good. So it will look. Cause I mean a space station flying over at like 10 kil- um, uh, like 10,000 uh, meters, which is awesome. There we go. Alright. Should warp. Yeah, it's warping. Better perform a mid-course correction down. I don't know why it's doing that, but, um, yeah, you can't predict McJeb and what, how it does things. So it's better just not to speak about it and just let it do its thing because it usually 99% of the time will let you, uh, yeah, we just dumped, we just dumped the third stage rockets. And there goes some space junk that will continuously orbit. Continuously orbit, uh, continuously orbit the Earth, or the Kerbal, sorry, carbon, whatever, wherever it is, and course correction, we're coming in from the top, so this will be kind of weird, hopefully we get just the right, there we go, alright, that should look good. cancel you and just speed it up so you guys do not have to sit here and wait there we go we're coming in on a landing trajectory coming out on a good trajectory I don't know why it's switching like that but can't tell this game what to do we've been in space for about a day all right there's the encounter and there's the escape I am gonna stop it just so you guys can see Minmus. See so, yeah, how you may you guys may wanna see it. There's our space station on its orbit. And if you look, there's beautiful Minmus. And we'll 
just fast forward as we scoot right past it on a nice trajectory. Yes. The space station should pop out in a second. I guess we can't see it. Uh, um, yeah, it's really, really nice. Hello everyone, welcome back. We finished the burn. It took a really long time, but uh, we're back. So, we're entering the jewel system soon. There's the jewel explorer, MK1. Gonna launch right into that jewel, jewel encounter. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get in there. We're gonna see some stuff that nobody else has ever seen in this world. We're gonna plant a flag, and then uh, you never know. We may, uh, we may go see some other stuff. Debris, probes, flags. That's all the places that we have conquered. Conquered there. We're gonna conquer here, Jewel. It's gonna be great. The first turban steps foot. The Jewel Explorer. I renamed it because we took a little detour because Eve sucks to get to so we get here and our fuel stocks are almost burnt out but the good thing is is that I have the ST escape pod mod which has fuel built into it it has its boosters for its landing built into it so we're good on that front so I have a guy stranded in here um, I have a guy stranded on Mars. Um, yeah. Jewel encounter, 113, 112 days. Been in space, 263 days. Not that long, almost a year. In space! It would be cool is if they built, like, another solar system, like, here. I know it's not realistic, but... That'd be awesome. So there's like a whole nother solar system. It's almost impossible to get to, but if you get there, it'll be it would be awesome. That'd be that'd be a nice little challenge. The jewel encounter. 70 days out, get prepped. Is this kid prepped? He better be. Just sitting there. Fifty days out. All right, twenty four days out. days out. Six days, five days. Bingo. We're gonna be running right through the... Well, not really right through, but uh, we're gonna be running close up to it. So, we're not moving at all. That periaps is the closest we're getting. Yeah, let's park it. Let's park it. Let's circularize here. 33,000. So we can wrap ourselves around, uh, wrap ourselves around it. I think that's what we're doing. I hope that's what we're doing.
crap. I don't know if we're gonna have enough fuel. I hope that we have enough fuel. This thing is not moving whatsoever. So. <sighs> Suck to come all this way. Let's get kind of screwed. I don't think this thing has enough gas to get us remotely close. It, it may, actually. It's wrapping around! I think we could get it, but we only have half the fuel. Oh, this is a fail mission. Holy crap. Yep, we got it. And we ran out of gas. Yep, so that's pretty much gonna be the end of the episode. I put too little amount of fuel in the spacecraft, so that'll be pretty much it. I'll just leave you with that view of Bop. That was my failed mission, see you guys later.